in terms of uh, settlements along uh, the riparian areas, the people of Nairobi are very cooperative. In fact, nobody wants to stay in the way uh, or, or in a place that is dangerous to them. They are pushed mostly by uh, the poverty levels and the economic situation that our people find themselves in. So there has been great cooperation. Initially, we were told that uh, the riparian area would be cleared up to 15 meters of the high water line. But unfortunately, we have seen demolitions that are being carried out up to 30, 35 meters from the high water line. So what is happening is that there are some crooked elements within Nairobi and within the state that have taken advantage of this uh, uh, disaster to now settle schools. I've seen people demolishing schools that are nowhere near riparian areas. So we want the government, first of all, to tell us with certainty what is the distance that Nairobians must keep from the high water line. Is it 15? Is it 30? Is it 35? So that people do not, or uh, crooked elements do not take advantage of that. And we want to condemn in the strongest terms possible. All of those who are, are taking advantage of this to essentially perpetuate a land grab in Nairobi. And because riparian areas are under the management of the county government, these are answers we will be demanding from Sakaja himself. If we are going to do demolitions, we hold the view that at least the government must clearly be able to develop alternative temporary shelter for those people who are affected so that before you actually demolish, you can be able to, first of all, be able to accommodate them in a temporary structure. And uh, even if there is uh, cash for shelter the way the government had said, let it be realistic because even the 10000 that is being said is not sufficient. We can confirm that up to today, the 10,000 shillings that was promised uh, by William Ruto has not arrived for our people. We want to urge national government, first of all, come through on the promises you made publicly. 